Right. So we just concluded talking about one team that is usually busy come the IPL auction in Bangalore. Now we come to the other team that has a whole lot of auction activity going on. And uh, this time as well, they were very busy letting go of Maxwell, getting in Richardson and Meredith and a number of those players. Let's see how Punjab stack up ahead of IPL 2021. All right, you know the drill. Like, share and subscribe if you haven't done it yet. And uh, let's get down to Punjab. It's a very interesting franchise. Last time as well, so close yet so far. They made us all so very excited with that brilliant combination at the top with Mayank Agarwal, Kale Rahul and then Chris Gale coming to the party later. Nicholas Puran, that is a top four that is as good as any top four in the IPL and uh, they lit up every stadium that they played at in the UAE last time around. What came post that was a little suspect of course but the top four was attractive. They went out and dominated every bowling and they were a treat to watch. Now after the top four obviously we, we spoke about the middle order but then the key worry that they had was that the bowling leaked a whole lot of runs. The, the number of runs they leaked in the power play and towards the end at an economy of um, about eight at an economy of 11 towards the end those are your primary fast bowlers going for those sort of runs that was a big big worry for Punjab and what have they done to take care of that worry? Let's take a look at uh, how they fared in the auction to take a closer look at that. So taking a look at Punjab's activity in the IPL 2021 auction and the number one thing that strikes you is that they let go of Cottrell. That was the first thing that uh, Punjab did and uh, well that was a one-off, it really was and it didn't really pay off. I remember Cottrell being hit for about 30 runs as well in uh, in a game versus I think it was uh, Royal Challenges Bangalore but that really didn't work out and uh, Punjab were looking for answers after that point and they never really found an answer. So they let go of Cottrell, Nisham as well, um, Hardas Vio and uh, Krishna Pagautam, Suchit, Mujib, Karun Nair and a couple of others have all been let go and all and most of these players have found refuge in different IPL teams this season as well. So they were not bad players but they were just not fitting into the furniture at Punjab and uh, the likes of David Manan, Jai Richardson, Riley Meredith, Shah Rukh Khan, Moises Andriks, Fabian Allen, Jalit Saxena, uh, Saurabh and Utkarsh are the players that have now been brought into Punjab. You look at this, you look at the the quota of players that have come in and, and you and you'd like to wonder that a couple of all-rounders are there in the mix and uh, the number one thing that strikes you are the fast bowlers. Richardson and Meredith, both a lot of money have been paid for both of these guys and essentially it looks like Punjab are looking at them as they are death bowling specialists. But still, we do not know a whole lot about them because they haven't experienced a lot in these conditions which we will come to in a bit as well. Right, let's take a look at the potential Punjab Kings 11 now, shall we? Because this is where it gets very, very exciting. Every year, you you try to put this together because there are a number of factors that are always changing with this franchise. There are new players coming in, players going out and uh, this becomes a bit of an exercise for all of us uh, uh, every single time. But uh, let's take a look at it this time, what that looks like. Of course, we begin with Rahul and Mayank at the top. Uh, a formidable opening pair. They, they they were racing each other for that orange cap last time as well and Punjab will be really hopeful that they pick that race up again this time as well and they'll be hopeful that Gail and Puran join them as well which makes a fantastic top four like we discussed earlier as well. But what follows after that is a big, big question and I think at this point Mandeep and Shah Rukh Khan are what they can do best. Mandeep really played out of his skin last IPL a couple of games but they would want him to be a little bit more consistent this time as well when he comes into bat at that really important six and seven uh, these players become very very important including Shah Rukh Khan who's been very good for Tamil Nadu as well and uh, post that here's the important one this is where Punjab have struggled and I think this time they have to bat Chris Jordan at at seven uh, there is there are no two ways that they can go about it at this point he is the only option apart from Moises Andriks who could come in and do that role but uh, at, at 7 and 8 
are are these are the two positions that punjab struggled with last year as well and i think they are going to be suspect this time as well so i think at this point uh, you'd like to take a look at chris jordan there and then followed by by jai richardson or meredith one of them i don't think they can play both of them uh, at this point richardson gets the nod because of the price tag simple as that uh, and then you it's followed by bishnoi uh, one among ashwin uh, murgan ashwin or ashdeep depending on the surface depending on where you're playing and of course top it up with mohammad shami so that i think is my punjab kings 11 um, it ticks all the boxes but still it lacks that x factor especially in the middle order and with the seam bowling options right punjab kings fans what are the couple of concerns that we need to look out for the the two things that are there and that have been there for a while with this team is that the middle order is still looking suspect you let go of glen maxwell you lost patience with maxwell and understandably so but now there has been no replacement made to replace maxwell in that position you have david malan who's come in the number 1 t20 batter in the world in the men space but there is no place for him because to ensure the balance of the team you have to play uh, chris jordan or moises ondrix at 7 and that takes that one slot where malan could have come in because remember puran can well bat at 5 it, it's not necessary that he has to bat at 4 so you can get in malan to pack that top order but if you do that there is you know you you let go of of uh, chris jordan and that one bowling option which will become very very important for you so for the balance of the team you need to rely on an overseas all rounder because you don't have an indian option there and i think that is going to come back to haunt punjab yet again uh, the balance of the team i think will not allow the number one batter in the world to get a slot in this team and that is going to be a big big worry what is the other worry well it is the seam bowling in it at the end of the day you you saw punjab concede over 8 runs and over 11 runs in the power plays and in the death overs and cotrell uh, was suspect um mohammad shami was cold and hot was blowing cold and hot ashdeep was all right um ravi bishnoi looked okay uh, for for an 18 19 year old murugan ashwin did the job but where is that purple cap contender in your team where is that bowler who's going to bowl at an economy of 5 or 6 to really uh, choke the opposition i don't see a lot of options there and that's where the likes of jai richardson and meredith will have a lot of pressure on them they and and they will walk with those price tags at the end of the day the price tags that you come into teams with walks around with you everywhere it does there is no escape from any of it as we've seen in the past with the likes of yuvraj singh etc players have come out and spoken about it it is indeed something that they feel pressured by and that pressure will be there on these two young fast bowlers Can and they come in and galvanize this team give them a breath of fresh air only time will tell but for punjab the number one thing for me is that kl rahul has to fire and has to play out of his skin he did look very good last time around he was he was stonking the ball and and he became uh you know undoubtedly the number one player to watch out for in in last year's edition of of the ipl but he has to go beyond Uh, uh all of that and uh, and somehow find solace in being the captain of this team he looked a little uncomfortable he was looking around for options for people to guide him into you know past difficult situations when gail came into that team uh you know you he saw that you you saw that he went to gail a number of times spoke to him mayank agarwal was someone who raised his hand gave an opinion but apart from that when he looked around he did not have a lot of people he could rely on mohammad shami is not somebody who will come in and and uh, and give you that extra leader when you need it he's not that kind and even this year you do not have a lot of players who will you sort of give you that extra that little bit of extra apart from their skill set so i think kl rahul will have to enter this tournament with that mindset that i am going to rely upon my leadership team rely upon my own decision making ability and execute plans that are set from the outset on the field and not get worked up about it he's a learning captain he's a young captain remember punjab have put their trust in him in uh, and and i think it's time for rahul to take it in a stride take it as it comes remember there's a big auction coming up next year as well that will define punjab uh, you know punjab's next 
few years and i think punjab need to be a little patient maybe this is not going to be their year yet uh, to lift that illusive ipl